He goes on to another part of her father's Frigo's Revenge. This time we're going to New Quack City to begin the actual few levels. First of all, let's give this uh, subway token to this guy. Have a little dance. That was that was Rufus's dance, like you know, that was, that was something. Anyway, this is the subway train, and uh, we can look around here and get hurt from that. And then just look around. There's a lot of uh, a lot of long, empty corridor here. No point going this way. I mean, yeah. As you can see. Also, the fucking train has eyes, but uh, don't worry about that. It's, it's nothing. It's fine. It's safe. Go inside. Let's go to New Quack City and begin the game finally because training's over now. So, let's have a cutscene. You late, stupid bear. Not call I stupid. Who big bear at front? That no bear. That General Vigo. Quiet at the back there. As I was saying, plans are in motion to see me take up my rightful place as the ruler of the world. However, world conquest does not come cheap, and the funds of Vigo Industries run low. Consequently, I have decided to steal the Rockford Diamonds. While I coordinate the heist from here, a full legion of my finest bears will set Lower East Quack ablaze. With the NQPD distracted, the Quackify Museum will be defenseless, and the largest pair of diamond earrings the world has ever seen will be ours for the taking. With the fur fighter babies my hostages, our only real opposition has been neutralized. It is a plan as flawless as the diamonds themselves. Uh, General, fur fighters seen approaching from the south. So, Rufus, you and your moth-eaten rabble have decided to face me after all. So be it. I've always had a liking for the smell of burning fur. Uh. Alright, going to New Quack City. One well, of my favorite music is here. And, uh,. Now let's go see what our missions have to be, where we're gonna go. Ah, there you are. Good to see you got to New Quack City, okay. Currently, the New Quack Police Department is occupied fighting Vigo's forces all over town. So watch your step. Your first ports of call are the twin towers of the World Quack Center. Vigo Industries have set up its headquarters there, so keep your eye out for bears. Once the skyscrapers are clear, catch the train to Lower East Quack, where the enemy's running riot. Finally, rumor has it, Vigo's planning a major jewel heist. So go to the Quackenheim Art Museum and ensure their exhibits stay their exhibits. Once you've rescued all the babies you can find in New Quack City, head to these gates. Vigo's left something big and bad on the other side, and someone's going to have to deal with it, or the whole city will burn. We don't want that. Now, we can try out our gun too, because there's enemies here. We can shoot them down, we can use our shotgun on them. Which is slow, but does a lot of damage. Better than the pistol at least, but... Pistol will be very useful here at least, because uh... Sadly, shotgun's too slow to be any use. There's also a lot of ammo over here, which uh, for the gun we have right now, the shotgun we need, the pistol we don't. 
maximum on a pistol is like 300. Maximum on a shotgun is 100. Anyway, I will try out the uh, shotgun a lot, considering the fact it does a lot of damage. You know, we need that. We can also blow off these guys' heads with the shotgun, if we're lucky. Anyway, there's 10 tokens around the hub of this first area. As you can see. We have to look around for them. Another neat thing this game has is that if you listen to music, like, whenever you change to a fur fire, the music actually changes. Like, depending on which fur fire you are, the music will change to, like, that nation or that country's, um, like, musical instruments sometimes. Like, a lot of that. No, not, not sometimes. Every time. One time doesn't do that, I think, is in Fur Fighter Village. Because that's like, just one song every time. But yeah, that's interesting to me. Like, a lot of this game is interesting. I like a lot of this game. I like this song, because... You know, it's the first song, and it really gets you pumped up for this game. Anyway, this is the location we should be going to, but, uh... We're missing two tokens, so let's go look for them. Should be around here somewhere. Well, if you're wondering about that tank, if we can go under that, like maybe there's something hidden under there, like a more token something. Um, well, we'll change the chain to show that, uh, no, it's an invisible wall. By the way, song changes here because we changed the chain. Yeah, the song has indeed changed. Just listen to it and you'll, you'll hear it change. Like, it's really interesting, to be honest. Here we go. Oh, I thought that was a bun there. Yeah, this... The whole musical transition, where it just changes the song every time you change to a different fur file, is just interesting. And every single level and all the hubs and such, except for Fur Fighter Village, does that. And I like it. I really do like it. Anyway, that was our second location, which we will not go to. So third location, the museum, which we will not go to. So, this is where the gem will be, but we don't want to go to the gem yet got some shit to do in the other two locations. Anyway, we... Like, all the fur fighters are here, like Rico and such, but there's no point to them. Like, Rico's in a place where there's no water, and, uh, by the way, if you jump off the bridge, like, like any of the bridges here, you'll fall into the water, sure, but you'll actually freeze to death instantly, so don't do it. And there's the boss area, but... We don't actually have all the items required to unlock that yet, so no have any points going there. But yeah, uh, we'll be going over to the first level of the game, which is the World Quack Center. Great name, great name. Let's unlock it. Amazing. Anyway, next time, we'll be going to the World Crack Center to begin the first level of the game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.